All right, what's up guys? So, I ran to the store, well, a couple different stores, and I picked these up. So I've got a metal ammo can here. This is from Walmart, actually. It was the only spot that I could find a metal one, like our uh, sporting goods stores did not have any. And then this is generic battery hold down. And so the plan is that I'm gonna stick this right in this spare location here, uh, the secondary battery location, and then I can use this as storage and maybe I can fit my jumper cables and strap or something in there that, you know, the items that I don't use very often. So it fits down in here just fine. Maybe you guys are seeing that. Fits in there just fine. And when I strap it down, it should stay, it should move around. The only issue is that even though it's hinged, you actually won't be able to, you won't be able to open this while it's still in there. And you know, even if you refine something that that's smaller or something, like the hinges over here and this is in the way and I'm not even gonna take that off. So you need something that was like half a, half a hinge lid or something like that. But I'm gonna pull this out of the package here and I guess see if I can get this thing strapped down and then see what I can fit into it. So stay tuned guys, this should be pretty simple. Battery hold down bolts. I had something exactly like this. I don't know what I did with it. Because at one point I did have a spare battery there because I thought I was gonna need all this power for camping. And I used it one time and it just, I didn't keep it charged up like I should have. It wasn't connected to my other battery. I had to charge it manually, so. All right, so that's all this is, is a rubber strap. And it's already cracked, that's awesome. Not too worried about that though. Push that back down in there where it should be. Uh, not exactly sure what these are for. Doesn't, doesn't even show anything on there. What these little things are for. Might be some sort of spacer or something. Okay, so go ahead and pull this back out. Set that over here. So these hooks these hooks right here are gonna fit down into these holes. There's one hole there and one hole there. You have to kind of angle them. In fact, I might need to bend bend them out a little bit, but that needs to stick. That needs to get stuck down into that and then come straight up. So I'm gonna grab my tool kit and multi-tool out of the truck. Actually, only thing I should need is probably that multi-tool. Hopefully that's good enough to bend those out. I might have to take this in the garage. Oh. Yeah, unless I can. Nope, I need to run into the garage and find a way to I gotta bend these out so they're probably almost 90, 90 degrees. So I guess let's run into the garage. Neighbor kids riding dirty in the street. Where's my vice at? Right there. Got my vice. 
twice here. I'm just gonna set you guys on this. See if that'll work. Just like so. I think maybe this will work. Stick it in here and then uh, there we go. That should probably work for that one. Don't really have a ton of room to get it in here, get the right leverage. Try not to try not to hurt myself here. Got those both bent. They're at almost the exact same angle. I eyeballed the crap out of those. Right, shut the water off. Now it hooks right in there. So we've got one and two. So both of our hooks are in. And basically, we just need to set our ammo can in there. And actually, what I'm going to do with this piece, so this will slide right over here, use these wing nuts. Oh, these are probably to go on there as a washer for the wing nut. Maybe. Anyways, use those wing nuts and it just holds the battery down. So since this has the handle on it, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that through the handle. If I can. Maybe I can't. There we go. Because that's not gonna affect it. And as you can see, this battery strap fits absolutely perfect right on this ammo can. So all right, we're gonna drop this thing down in here and see what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna put the handle towards the front. All right, fits in there good. I didn't, br I don't have these ran through yet, so. Do that. Hopefully it's tall enough. Oh yeah, this is perfect. I'm just gonna test fit it and then we'll get to filling it with something. There we go. It's not in there super tight. Like I don't have those tight down super hard yet because I'm going to take it right back out and fill it up with something, but there you go. It's in there perfectly. Sits right on the battery tray. It could be, it could be a little bit wider, but then this strap wouldn't work. But other than that, it fits perfectly. So, all right, now let's see what we can fit inside this thing. Take it back out. That's the only bummer part, but if you're gonna be using something like this, it's typically not something that you need to access on a regular basis. All you gotta do is pull the wing nuts off and it'll pull straight up out of there, so. I'll just unhook this strap, both of them. There you go, you got your ammo can out. So, I'm gonna see what I can fit inside this thing. I think ideally, uh, if I could fit, I don't think that strap's gonna fit. It'd be really nice if I could fit my toe strap and my two D-rigs in here and my uh, um, jumper cables. Now this ammo can does have a weather seal on it, so hopefully that works. I'm gonna grab my the jumper cables might even be too big. I don't know. We'll see what I can fit in here. 
I think these jumper cables might be too big. Or I just need to fold them up differently. I mean, technically, they fit. Don't know. I wouldn't be able to fit much else in there after that. So let's take a look at that strap and D-rings that I have and see if maybe that's a better option to shove in there. I feel like the strap is not going to fit though. Alright, strap and D-rings. And this isn't, honestly, it's not a very heavy duty strap, but it's what I've got. It's work. That'll fit. That fits just fine in there. Now I have whole half side of this box open. It'll compress down into that so I can stick these in there. And there's actually a little bit of room. I've got, uh, what else could I put in here? I don't know, I got some more room though. All right, the only thing I had, other stuff that I had in that console below the middle seat was this vest. Like a safety vest and that's completely sealed so I can fit that in there this would be the reason I would need it is because of this stuff anyways so shove that down in there and this if I can fit it in there I'm gonna put it in there just because I don't use it a ton it may end up coming back out but I think I can fit it in there and this way I can now move the little toolkit that is under the seat the passenger seat I should be able to fit that into uh, under the middle seat in the actual storage compartment. There we go. Boom, perfect. So I've basically cleared up that whole section underneath my uh, center seat. So this is good to go, it's sealed. Uh, I don't care about the fact that there's a label on there. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this back in here. Put these pieces back over our mounting screws. Washer. So, like I said, I wouldn't recommend putting anything down there that you're going to be using on a regular basis, you know. But this type of stuff is perfect. You know, count on one hand how many times I've used that strap and D rings. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these down. The center piece, the center strap is rubber, so there's a little stretch to it. But I ain't going anywhere. Oh, there we go. Gotta get that angle stuck straight out on the bottom. There we go. Flatten that handle back down. Voila, folks some incredibly simple underhood storage. Now, like I said in the previous video when I talked about this before, I don't know if there's any other trucks that have this. This is a 2009 Chevrolet Silverado half ton, and the half tons have this spare location for an extra battery. Uh, more than likely on the diesel trucks, this is gonna be full and have a second battery, cranking battery. So I don't know if like a Ford F-150 has a spare location or a Dodge or anything like that, Tundras. I, I don't know about the other trucks, but if you have a half ton Silverado, there you go. You have a nice storage spot. And if you really wanted to get crazy and, and super handy with it, you could probably build something that was a bit better. Uh, and, you know, honestly, you could take that out if you truly wanted to. And probably you might be able to open that up, but maybe not. But that works for me. So now I'm going to run back into the truck here and see what I can move. So. <laughs> Put my jumper cables back under this back seat where they were at. You know, I showed this in a previous video, but I just shoved them up under here. That part of the seat. They fit just fine right there. 
close the seat back down. So, like I said, I kind of cleared everything out under here. So now I have this whole open space. I still have a pair of gloves and then there's some zip ties and those zip ties have a button on them so you can take them on and off different things. Uh, but I'm, I should be able to now fit that tool kit that's under this seat. So let's run over there and grab that tool kit. See if we can fit it underneath of there. Then I can put this multi-tool back where it needs to go. Center console. Too much stuff in the truck all the time. Hell, might be able to fit that little shovel under there too. There we go, there's my tool kit. Go ahead and pick that up. Fits in there perfectly. That shovel won't fit in there though. Maybe if I move these gloves. Oh yeah. Let's see. Boom. So shovel and tool kit are in there now. I could probably keep those in there, yeah. Maybe. They can still stick the gloves in there. Yep. That's those zip ties back there getting in the way. There we go, it's shut. Put this away. Boom guys, that's it. Incredibly simple. That's it. Put this trash away. That's it. Super simple mod, guys, that anybody can do if you've got this truck. Uh, like I said, that battery strap is from an O'Reilly Auto Parts store. Any auto parts store you go to is gonna have uh, battery hold down kits. There's probably a different, couple different kinds depending on the size of the battery. And then it's just a metal ammo cam. I don't know the size of it. It's pretty standard size, I feel like. Uh, I suppose I can get that off the uh, the side of it but that was just a standard metal ammo can that was purchased from walmart so you can find this stuff anywhere if you found a plastic one that would fit you could do that also uh, i was actually looking for a plastic one and i couldn't find one so anyways guys uh that's it i hope you enjoyed the super simple little mod uh, it's nice to get that stuff out of the cab it opened up some storage space in there and got some stuff off the floor so it's all good so anyways guys i'm getting ready to go out and do some camping uh, it's actually what is it labor day weekend and so all the campgrounds are full so i've got a kind of a cool spot that i think i'm gonna go check out that's uh let's say i'll be boondocking in i guess so anyways guys stay tuned for the next adventure i'll see you in a bit